Hello everyone. As you saw, when I'm starting engine in a cold weather, the coming day, exhaust fumes quite big, and uh, engine not running properly for a few seconds, which means uh, there could could be the two reasons for that. One is the glow plugs, and the other one is the glow plug uh, model control unit or whatever it's called. So. As I ch changed the glow plug before, uh, there could be only one issue, only this one. Normally, I would recommend if you're changing the glow plugs to do the model changes well straight away. Otherwise, it will be the big pain in us because when you're changing the glow plugs, you got the Intel manifold is off, uh, intake manifold is off, and it's much easier to change when it's off. So now. I'm gonna change this one. It will be a little bit pain in us because they are not gonna taking off the intake manifold. So let's start. Let's get started. Of course, first always you have to remove to get to the engine. You have to unbolt it the engine cover. For m many of the cars, it's not bolted, but for this one, for BMW, is it bolted on? So, which means you have to undo it. So, to undo it, you need them. Hexagon, six millimeters. So it's five bolts only. So remove the engine cover and the glow plug control unit. I don't know if you can see from here or no. Let's put the light on. Where is it? But it won't be that easy. It won't be that easy to show because it's everything is covered in there. Not sure. I'm gonna go. Not probably you can see or no, but. There is a one bolt on six millimeters. Let's put a little light on. So, and the other bolt is back there, but I, don't, I can't show it. Now you can see, and that is. That is the bolt. So you have to undo it two bolts. So one is that one. This is gonna be good there, but so that's not flexing, but not flexi pipe, so this means it's gonna be a couple of pain in us to get there.
So first, of course, I'm gonna make sure I got enough good length for the two. two. Don't do it. Okay, one pipe in my way. Let's remove that one. Release, not remove. So release this one. Then at least you will get. You will be able to get to the the bolt. Okay. This what I like the best when the sockets goes down somewhere. So of course I can see that. So to not let happen again, I will use the old, old tactic of the old mechanic tactic. So, so always the type them with some tape. Make sure you're not gonna lose them again because engine base small and to get something out it will be bigger pain in us than if you will use some tape so that's taped on same with the socket so all taped up keep you safe from the trouble. Other thing is on the end as well, as you know, the bolt is easily coming in and out of the socket, so I'm using on the end as well. Most of the mechanics doing exactly the same way. So when it's done, a little bit bend them in, and that's it, job done. Now we can go for that bolt. As I said before, always when you're changing the glow box, make sure you're changing that model as well. Because otherwise you have to struggle like I'm doing that now. Push it more on the socket to make sure that you're not losing the nut. So the nut coming with us, but of course, make sure there is no traps on the way getting out, otherwise, you're gonna lose the. Did not. So as you can see, not is perfectly on the in the socket. So one is off. And we have to go for another one, which is on the other side. Can see or not? Probably you can see then. Can you now? in the I'm not sure how easy it will be get it the air but
can see. It's not that easy if the manifold is on. I'm going for risk and I'm not using the socket, I'm gonna unscrew it. I'm trying to catch the bolt. And I got it. So you can see or no, but of course you can see nothing in get in there. Covered with so many pipes around. But slowly, slowly, I'm getting it out. You can see, I know what this is the unit. And what I have to do now is. Unplug them. Unplug it off. So. The main one is unplugged. So the main socket. So we can show that's main main socket is unplugged. There is another one.
finally I get the, that unit off. So the old and new one. Not sure the same or no because for this one even it's made in Germany said but there's something scratched off so probably there's some aftermarket one. But anyway. I will fit it up. I will try the different. see there is this is the one of the plugs which needs to be plugged in another one you can see it's behind quite deep in Side's on, other side, other side's not. Because again, the small pipe behind. That's it. Small horse. Yep, that's in. And after the pin is on, just plug it back. back in place. Now I just need to bolt it back together. Let's see. So the, as I did before, prepare the tool, push it the nut into the socket, make sure it's tight, and 
coming off. So let's go back down and try to get that thing up back again. Catching up. Done. One of the bolts are done. So another two to, to go. One extra because the other side so I should redo it again so I release this side and now I have to do it back again. have a chance to do glow plugs and the model at the same time then just do it because as you can see it's so big pain in us So finally the thing is back on. So it took quite a long time, so as I said, if you have a chance to change it, glow plex with the model together, then just go for it. Otherwise it will be pain in us. If you're gonna do it by itself, okay, it doesn't cost you much, just your own time, but if you you're gonna get back to the garage and the labor will cost you quite a lot. So, okay, thank you for the watching and see you in the next video.